Yeah, I can see Glover too happening before Billy too, though. Like, absolutely. A classic Billy Hatcher moment. We love to see it. I have never gotten a Billy moment on Flower Jump. That is new. Alright, write that down. Change that. Make it so that when I do Flower Jump that doesn't happen, Sega. I'm gonna tweet at Sega right now. I've never played Glover. I have been meaning to check it out. Never got to it. I think it's one of those games that I always wanted to play, that I will play one day, but it's probably not gonna happen for a very long time. That was my controller. Unless I hope it still works. Imagine resetting because your controller breaks mid run. I wouldn't lose that much time because I have another controller right here. I should make a channel point reward like 10,000 points, do Fami skip this run. Because, like, I throw every run anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I go for it or not. Like, even if I. I'm on good pace and don't do it. I'm just gonna die in Forest 3, enter Forest 4, and then not get both clips in Forest 6. I mean, obviously, the main reason why I choked that run was because. Uh, you know, I golded both Circus 2 and Sand 2, and I just didn't want to run against that, you know? I'd rather have a PB with a really shitty Sand 2. I can always save 30 seconds. Which also means I'm always going to have runs that are green by a lot, and people are going to get hyped, like, every time. Which is also the reason why I throw every time, obviously. Because if I was actually good at the game, I would always be like behind or only ahead by like two seconds, and you don't want that. Why did I get that, considering... What? Considering I got good RNG, and now, um... I pushed the fucking Cypher Hack away like a fool. Whatever. Imagine someday just everywhere Sega adds a Billy 2 now on Switch, PS57, Steam, GameCube, Lamau. What? It would be cool if they made it. Right? Actually, I have not been excited about an upcoming video game in many years. But if they announced Billy 2, I would pop off so hard. Like, that would be the first time I'd be excited for a video game in like six years. Actually, like five years. And the last time I was excited for a video game, I really didn't like it. <laughs> well, I, I was kind of excited for a bit, and then I got kind of skeptical, and when we actually got to see gameplay of it, I stopped being excited, but then the hype came back before the game came out, like a week before it came out. But yeah, I didn't really like it. That game was Breath of the Wild. That 
Dying like two is pretty hype. I have no idea. Like that, there were games that were really good that I liked, like Metroid Dread, for example. But like, I was not really excited about it. Or like, I was not really looking forward to it. It was like, oh yeah, Metroid Dread is gonna come out. That's gonna be cool, I guess. Like, I just don't buy games anymore. I play Billy. And that's like, all the games that I need. Yeah, that's the problem with running new games. Like, shit is always gonna get patched out. Like, at the very start of Odyssey, version 1.0 was actually banned. Uh... Because, like, fucking, uh, first moon skip was the only possible in version 1.0, and that got patched out, like, day one. So people were like, alright, nobody really has version 1.0, or, like, to properly run the game, people would have to factory reset the switch, so it's just gonna ban it. And then in version 1.2, they patched out a bunch of shit, and then they were like, alright, I guess version 1.0 is legal now. And that created the problem that if you wanted to get a top time, you would actually have to go out of your way to get version 1.0. And to be honest, back in the 1.0 days, uh, Odyssey was way more hype. Because like... The, the peak of Odyssey was in the 101 and the 100 days. Uh, and then after sub 1, the hype just died down. And then version 1.3 came out and that just kind of killed it. Like the cool stuff got removed and instead insanely lame stuff got introduced. Like fucking uh, daylight savings time abuse or whatever it's called. BSTA. Like, imagine Pal Billy was the optimal version just because it has faster load times. <laughs> you can't do Elder Cutscene skips, you can't do Kaiji U, you can't do Crow Bounds, can't do, uh, can't grab emblems on the first frame, uh, but it's faster <laughs> because the fucking low times are faster. Nice. I also kind of hate that theoretically, 3D All Stars is the fastest version of Sunshine. It's like faster load times and Serena 6 glitch potentially. Also, I just picked up a cherry, which kind of sucks. No, I was just saying, like, hypothetically. What if there was a new patch of Billy that had faster load times? But the price you pay for it is that like the cool tricks don't work. That was so slow. Yeah, of course it was slow. I think, well, I remember back in the day, people used to think like PAL might be a bit faster because of like text differences and people were playing on Japanese. And they were thinking that they were saving some time. Actually, I should add the the uh, channel point uh, channel point reward for choosing a language in Billy. Because I could be playing the game in Japanese. You can't do that in NTSCU. Could also be playing in German or Spanish or French. Or Italian. I 
I'm still insanely proud of my Spanish command. I should play that game again so that it makes sense again. I mean, it would just be fitting to use the summer to actually play Mario Sunshine. I'm actually not sure about that. Should work there. Yeah. Very close though. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Don't put my egg, don't put my egg. Get that. <laughs> was that pal or was that me being bad? <laughs> this is best pace ever, by the way. Uh, as you mentioned it earlier, I think the only way to practice early is through manipulating a game over the trans- uh, to palace only, is through manipulating a game over transition to give access to debug menu. I have no idea if there is, like, how to access debug menu, if that exists. What if you can access the debug menu, but it's going to create a situation like Majora's Mask, where it only works on like one very specific version of the game. <laughs> what if it's palette only? That'd be sick. Because the thing with Majora's Mask is you can only access the debug menu in the Japanese version. And to make it even more hilarious is that it crashes on most versions. It crashes on N64, it crashes uh, on Wii Virtual Console, it crashes on Switch. The only version where it works is Wii U Virtual Console, Japanese version. It's the only one. I actually have the game on Wii U Virtual Console, but it's the NTSC U version. Yo! Alright, alright, alright. We need to find a way to access that, access that, like, right now. Imagine doing the mem strap. I'm too scared of that. The game crashes on NTSC, but it doesn't crash on PAL. That's... That's interesting. I was actually so close to gold. I 
I did lose some time at the start because like the egg was already full. I still went for more fruit. Of course, uh, I could have saved time with the min strat. Oh, just by doing the tree battle, it's not necessarily the min strat. It's just the min strat is just the setup to get to the tree bounds. What? What? I have no idea why I let go of the egg there. Uh, the cheat to get a deeper... Ah, the cheat... Ah, oh, yeah, I see, I see. Do the cheat codes work on console, or are they, like, emulator only? I should actually check if my Mario Sunshine practice codes work now, because they didn't work when I got them, but that was because I named the folder on my SD card incorrectly, and I did change that, so it should hopefully work now, because I haven't tried it since. they work. That's cool. So you could do things like random egg speed runs uh, like without 50 hertz. I will have the random X console record no matter what the time will be. Manipulating X spawn, X spawns also work on power. Yeah, you mean with the cheat code, right? Cheat code only, right? I mean, if like Skyward Sword got broken, I am optimistic about every game. That has to be something. to do with cheese. Yeah. I mean, that's step number one. The thing is, like, if we had a bomb, that'd be pretty cool to set up for hyperspeed, but it would still lose a shit ton of time, because you'd have to get the bomb to explode in the first place, which is, like, 30 seconds. Let's go. 
No more topo. Two shot topo kill. Yo. Okay, that be hype. That be hype. I didn't even consider that. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's what we have to find, honestly. That's definitely one thing they should add for Billy too, right? Because in Billy, you only have the default eggs in boss fights. But they should make it so that you can actually take animal bodies into boss fights, or maybe have uh, eggs for them in the arena. Maybe even design the fight around them. Although that might kind of suck, I don't know. I would love to be able to one-shot Toko, like, that guy has definitely deserved it. I think casually the Toko fight is fine, right? Like, when you just play the game normally, you're gonna probably enjoy the Topo fight. I also like the design of Topo, like, everything's cool. It, it just sucks, though. Like, it's a two and a half minute long auto scroller. I should make a topo emote. Like topo rip or something, like whenever the run dies you post the topo emote. Yeah, what if there's like SRM in Billy? That's some shit like that, where you can just transform one egg into another. Yeah, SRM works differently, yeah. Yeah, I just mean like, something along those lines. SRM is quite complicated, although I know about it very well.
Yeah, I've watched a bunch of explanations about SRM. I I couldn't explain it to you. Oh my god, no. Oh no. Oh. Most giveth, most taketh, as they say. Still on the table. I mean, you can get world record while still choking moles, so I'm not too worried. This is like, this is better than the run I had earlier, because that run got a 25.58. It's crazy that Topo is so consistent and molds can fuck you over insanely hard. And still Topo is the guy that I hate. I knew it would happen. I knew it would happen, I still went for it. Alright, so I got carried to make up for that mistake. Like, it only happened because I was greedy. Like, the penguin was already in its spinning animation, but I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe I can get it. And then I paid for it. Can't wait to get back to sunshine and then always lose like 30 seconds to early cycle. Or like to not getting early cycle. No, I have never gotten early cycle in my life. Let's go saving time. Yeah, so I would have saved quite a lot of time if I didn't mess up.
I can kiss me that. That was so weird. Like, the angle was so bad. Yeah, that kind of like that. Alright, kinda sucks, but it's still fine. Time save for the next run. Left side failed us, yeah. That's why you should always do double out of bounds. That's the game's way of telling you. You have to be a true Billy Gamer, otherwise the game punishes you with Big the Cat. Actually, I want to be like here. Yeah. Yeah, it should be, but I don't lose that much time when I don't go for it, and it just creates another layer of difficulty that is not really worth it. Yeah. Because, yeah, I can do it, but there's always a chance I might mess it up, and the chance I might mess it up is actually quite high, and... If I just mess it up once, I'll, I'll already lose time, so considering I really don't need it, it's not worth it at all. Because, like, my egg pushing is so bad, like, I don't even save that much time with it. I think my best portal time was, like, 107 with double out of bounds, and without it, it's, like, 111 or something like that. I might That might be wrong, it might be worse, but... I don't save that much time with it. I mean, of course, like, the main reason it's good is because you remove the RNG. But then again, I'd rather blame RNG for, like, five seconds of time loss than make the game way harder for me. I mean, I will do it eventually. Like, I already did it today. I would have called it, but I... Mess up the second one, of course. To further proof that the first one is easier. What we do have is a memory viewer for Phineas and Ferb fight again. Wink, wink. Oh yeah, it would be helpful. Yeah, there is one. It's like the first message ever posted on the Right Again channel. Like, it's pinned. So yeah, we only need someone who actually understands that sort of shit <laughs> to break the game.
Gotta search for stuff. Yo! Yeah, that'd be insane. Also, there are several ways you can crash the game. Like, I still don't understand how crashing a game helps breaking it, but... Yeah, like, the options are there. You gotta clip this conversation for the world record history video. Okay, I was actually scared about that one. I thought that wasn't gonna be enough distance. Crashing a game with gameplay is to rearrange important memory. Yeah, I get that. But then, how do you escape the crash? Do you just reset the game? If you can manipulate that by doing something and control that, then that's ace. Yeah. The ace is kind of cool, but I feel like not every game profits off of having Ace. Like, I think I think uh, Ace would be really cool for Phineas and Ferb right again. It would be insanely lame though if Billy had Ace. Imagine this run without the moles choke, that'd be pretty cool. Like, I can tank losing 20 seconds in seconds too, that's fine. That's always fine. But yeah, moles kinda sucks. If you do something like store internal values, and that translates to going to the credits, going to the credits instead of crash. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think shit like that is insanely cool. Like just because it works. Then again, the runs are often kind of whack. Like, Ocarina of Time any percent is insanely stupid. Like, it's impressive, and like, on a technical standpoint, and I love watching like, three hour long video essays on why it works. But like, as a speedrun itself, it's kind of, kind of stupid, you know? 
gonna say, that's exactly 30 seconds worse than my Ayala. But then again, of course, Family Skips saves more than 30 seconds because you also save real time from cutscenes. Alright. I could be on 109 pace if I didn't mess up moles and if Circus 2 was a little bit better. That finding comes a bullshit category, but you can use the uh, ace in a category where it's no credit for it, yeah. Like Ocarina of Time 100% is insanely sick. The downside is that nobody wants to play it because it's too hard. Like ZFG played it for a while, but he stopped. I think it's so sick that ZFG is a big streamer because like he pretty much only streams Ocarina of Time. There's no face cam. Like he doesn't talk. Like. Oftentimes he won't say a word for like five minutes and then somebody subs and he's like, yo, real mems next to the sub. And then it's gonna go back to no talking. And you just sit there and vibe and watch the gameplay and that's it. Also, that was the sussiest uh, super clip indeed I've ever seen. That was actually that was not as sus as the one from the last run, but that was still really sus. Like that was so bad. Like I didn't walk in a straight line. I just kind of went left and changed my camera angle while I was doing the trick. What? Free trick, by the way. Yeah, I think like some really short speedruns are kind of cool as like a party trick or something. But stuff like Ocarina of Time A is so, like 80%. Not really. Like imagine you showed that off. People would just be confused. Or people would be like, yeah, that's that's not beating the game. I was at a melee tournament uh, uh, not too long ago in April, and that was in like an esports venue, or, like a gaming venue, where you could go and just play games. They had like all sorts of consoles there and games, uh, and they had an SNES Mini. So during the break, like my friend played uh, Link to the Past, and like he can run um, any percent, no major glitches, but. He had no idea how to do any percent, and I kind of vaguely remembered it, so I just taught him how to do it. <laughs> and did like a casual playthrough of A Link to the Past any percent. It took like 15 minutes, but <laughs> it's supposed to be like, I don't know, 3 minutes. If you're good. I will definitely look into both more pal findings with internal values and pirate invisible eggs and write again internal values. What? I got sniped? No. No, I just let go of the egg because of the side I was on, right? Kind of looked like I got sniped. That's kind of weird. Uh, with animation storage, but your internet kind of crashed and so buying good luck. Thank you for the good luck and have a good night. Alright. 
So having that conversation was actually kind of nice because it was kind of distracting. So I wouldn't really be nervous or anything. Now that I'm all by myself again, all I can think about is the pace. Whoops, so we're back to... Maybe not crashing. Yeah, whatever. Like, don't you also have a bedtime or something? Like, it's fucking 12 something in the morning. Dude, fuck you. I remember... Dude, grab the egg! Oh my god. Don't mess up in Forest 3 challenge. I can't believe that Forest 3 is the level that I mess up in nowadays. This is one of my most grinded levels, by the way. Dude, I didn't go for the manipulation there, because I got so scared of hitting the tree again. So I was like, whatever, just please let me live. I'm gonna lose like 15 seconds at least. Yeah, that is the worst time I've ever seen. But I'm still gonna, gonna save like 40 seconds, not that much. Yeah, like normally I never mess up at KBC ever. But like the last three runs, I messed it up at least once. I mean, today I kind of messed it up, or like this run, I kind of messed it up because the chicken pushed me away. Like as I was doing it, I was gonna say like, when I learned the game, that chicken was the worst part of the game for me. Like I couldn't do the trick because the chick kept hitting my egg. Should we play it safely and not go to the clip? Okay, whatever. That was on me, actually. That was my own fault. That was not the game being stupid. That was just me being stupid. Are you joking me? Oh my god. Why can't I do this in runs? Like, I have practiced this a shit ton off stream. Yeah, of course, yeah. I know, like, everything about Phineas and Philip right again, so that's no problem. So that's, um, let me do the math, 19 plus 18 is, uh, 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 20 is 37, alright. Um, yeah. Cool time loss there. Um, yeah, those levels have never really been a problem. I mean, Forest 6 has been a problem, but not to that degree, honestly. Whatever. It's always good to have some time safe for the next run, am I right? Especially in late game. Could be gone any second. Oh no. 
We need Tilt or sad. What would be a sad emote? I like Tilt or cry. What would that look like? Would it be Chick? Uh, as he's still tied to the bomb and he realizes he only has like one second left to live. And he does shed a tear because he realizes that his friend Billy has saved all of his other friends but not him. Sat Rolly. Yeah, Sad Rolly is just a screenshot of not getting the B-Club. Yeah, Lost Race, maybe. No, like, you wouldn't understand that without context, right? Yeah, there should definitely be an emote for the very rare scenario that Rabbish wins the race. Now, believe it or not, that has happened to me once, because I didn't touch the flagpole. I was standing right next to the flagpole for like 10 seconds while I was waiting for Rabbish to come, and then I lost. <laughs> but that was at the very start, like when I just started playing the game. I actually had a look at my old run, or like at screenshots of my old splits, and I realized that I actually got top 130 in 10 attempts or so. Now I'm at 315 attempts. So yeah, it was definitely fun back when, like, basically every run was a PB. I think my third run ever was not a PB. I kind of want to watch my first run. Or I might do that, um... On its anniversary, whenever that is. I'm also gonna do like something special on the 31st of August because that's the day I first played Billy in 2021. Just roll his face in the cutscene. Uh, is that like? Is that similar to Billy when a golden egg dies? He lost race against Clippin. I mean, I have actually lost the Clippin race once. Because, um, for the first, like, two months of running, I never actually finished the race before I set up Super Clippin Yeet. Because back then my movement was so bad that I actually needed to take my time to set it up. So I was like, I don't have the time to finish the race. Also, I just dropped like 60 frames. But that's just a second, okay? So don't destroy me, Fleeter. Let me have this. It happens, it happens. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's never happened. <laughs> Alright, 111 has just gotten a, a bit more difficult. But I, I just dropped 300 more frames. Well... That's my punishment for choking, alright? I should really local record. I really should, but I'm afraid my computer is just going to explode. Because, like, streaming and recording at the same time is too much for it.
That was way too much. Like, did I need to pick out that much fruit there? Yeah. Another reason why I don't like to local record is I don't want to have like four hour long vods that I will then have to edit. Oh, that sucks. I've never missed that, I think. Okay, let's go uh, even more time save. A time loss. Time save for the next gen. I'm gonna be like minus not that much and then uh, I can bring it back in sand 3 but yeah I think 111 just kind of died there. I mean, it's not that bad I think. We'll see. You can't PB by too much all right. I'd rather PB every day by like 20 seconds than only PB like every three months by like two minutes. Like PBing by two minutes is possible, but it's way more difficult. Also because of nerves, like eventually you're gonna start to think about the pace. Yeah, so um... Yeah. Rip the dream. That 112 is still kind of cool, you know. It can still be 114, of course. It's not over until it's over. Oh no, I'm gonna die out here. Skip. I mean, yeah, <laughs> like, Sanchi is already over. <laughs> also, even if I still had to do Sanchi, I probably wouldn't do it because I'd rather take the safe PB than kill it, potentially. There's always a next time, right? But on the other hand, like who cares about P being by 9 seconds, so maybe I would go for it. Because like, I can always do another run. How do you get like a 17 seconds time though? That's crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll just do Omega Bibu Yeet. Let's go gold. Thing is, one eleven is not dead. What if my computer just dies before the run ends? Like it's been making noise noises like the entire time. Oh, 
What? Come on, I dash cancelled that. Yeah, like, the main goal is to have a strat in this game named after myself. I just have to find something. Like, how many fucking Kai strats are there? But where's the two strats? I mean, there is a two skip in Sunshine, but that's just a strat that was found like 10 years ago. It's just called two skip because I'm bad at it. And only two people in the world call it two skip. And I am one of them. Let's go with egg. Now when eleven is dead. Thank you, very cool. Like I knew it was gonna happen, so I tried to avoid it, but that's so hard. That's not all of them, that wasn't. Yeah, so I lost like twenty sevens there. Uh twenty seconds there. That's really dumb. Now watch me miss the slide. Alright, that was really slow, but... Whatever, play it safe. Dude, I would love Circus 3 clock skip. The thing is, like... Circus 3 is honestly my least favorite level in any percent. If there's like one level that I just never want to do, it's that one. Yeah, um, that's really bad, but I will save some time. But I'm still gonna lose at least 20 seconds to gold, so. Best possible time should be like 1.12, 1x after this, which still means like Samu Bob. So, you know, let's not think about 111 just yet. Let's not think about 110 or anything. Let's just think about bopping the guy that made me play this game in the first place. I can still choke Pal Skip, of course. And fucking Raven 1 can kill the run. I can pull a clam. Anything can happen. Well, well let's find out.
imagine bopping a run that has God Cycle in it. With a run where you lose 20 seconds to a normal mold. Also, don't even need Family Stack. The moment. Oh, got that egg bounce. The moment they opened their mouths, I was like. Please don't pop my egg. That has already happened in the last level. Don't do it again. It would have been really funny if I fell down there. Raven needs to be nice. Can I beat uh, Pedro? What's Pedro's time? I think Pedro has a 112 2x, but it might be a 1x. Not guaranteed. Okay, so I saved some time there because I knew what phase I was on. Last time I was waiting for puddles. Hilariously enough. Okay. When are we going to find three cycle Raven? Actually, here's here's a two strat. Um, if you don't damage him enough in the second phase, he's only going to shoot out two puddles in the second puddles phase. But you can still finish him off in just four phases, like always. Let's go the gold! Let's go! Let's go 1x potentially? 1x? I need an insane uh, Raven 2 though. It'd be hilarious if I dropped like 2,000 frame now. At uh, 2,000 frames now. That's where the S belongs. Back when I started out, Raven 2 always killed my runs. Or at least I always lost a lot of time here. I didn't X shoot. Because the angle was so scuffed. Okay, so one X is dead, but whatever. I wasn't really believing in it whatsoever. It's fine.
last thing. And we're right in the center, let's go. All right, so uh, I finally bought Samurai Man. Um, so that's cool. I'm happy. I did the thing. Let's go on level 19. All right, let's go. Did I beat, uh, did I beat Pedro? Let's find out. Pedro has a 112.18, never mind. But at least I beat Samu and Fergo. So now I am in 14th place. Officially a top 15 runner. Thanks for the congrats. Yeah, that's cool. I always like to show a few more splits uh, in the screenshots. I'm just going to do that now. Yeah, there we are. But for the past three times I streamed, I got a PV every time. So yeah, this, of course, actually I'm going to... Go back to the normal layout. Yeah. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, let me know. We'll see. Um. All right. So forest one, good enough. Forest two, good enough. Forest uh, gecko, good enough. Pirate 1, kind of slow, bad RNG, whatever, doesn't matter. Pirate 2, Pirate 2 is okay, Pirate 2 is actually pretty good. Glow was good, Dino 1 was okay. Not going to Hamburg, yeah, that's alright, I mean, I was kind of expecting that. Also, weather's gonna be shit, so it wouldn't really be worth it. Dino 1 saw, uh, was okay, Dino 2 was okay, Topo was okay, Blizzard 1 was good enough. Because the two was horse shit. I choked really hard. Like in the level itself. Like I, I kinda struggled with setting up the KVC and then I missed a shot. Moles was dog shit. Alright. Circus one, um I fucked up. Like my egg got popped at the start, I think. Circus two, uh, I got bad RNG and I choked the PDR a few times. Sultan was standard as always. Sand one was good. Sound 2 was good, like good enough. Pirate 3, 4, 5 were all good enough. Pirate 5, kind of sloppy, so good. Forest 3 did choke a bit, but I, I lost like 15 seconds actually. I choked the KBC hilariously enough, which doesn't normally happen. And then, um. Uh. And then I didn't go for the manipulation where you like roll in a half circle. Because last time I did that, I died because I hit the tree and I was insanely scared and the cats were not nice. So I lost a lot of time there. Forest 6 was the catastrophe. Like I tried to get the cat clip, didn't get to it. And then um, I got hit on my way to the... No, my egg got popped. That's what happened. Uh, before I jumped onto the slide and then um, I didn't get the B clip. And I lost 37 seconds. Blizzard 3 good, Blizzard 4 good, Blizzard 6 good, Dino 8. Dino 8 was really fucking scary. I almost choked the run in Dino 8. I threw so hard, but I, I was able to save it, so... I guess, I guess I'll say it was clutch, okay? Circus 3 was not good. Actually, I, I choked so hard in these two levels, wow. Circus 4 was standard procedure as always, Circus 5 was gold. Sun 8 was good. Sun 3, I got fucked by the dino. Um, so I lost tw like 20 seconds there, but I still saved time. 
and then the ending was good. So yeah, good run. One step closer to greatness. 